Astra to go forward. Hey guys, welcome back to History Saver 1941, and I look like an absolute nightmare right now. Look at my head, man. Look at my necklace. I'm all jacked up. And that's because we're getting ready for an event. The Road to Aachen is this weekend. We're getting ready for the event. Been hard at work in here, and this place is a disaster area too, on uh, packing and getting stuff ready to go. And then doing that, I ordered probably a month and a half ago from a company called Vesmishuk. I ordered them. I ordered it through MRE Mountain instead of going to the Vestment Shook website because it was a little bit cheaper and they carry some of their products. But Vestment Shook is located in Belarus and they're probably the best in the business when it comes to World War II reproduction rations. Well, I didn't think the package was going to get here in time, but it got here yesterday. And uh, let's pop this thing open and let's show you some of the best rations uh, for, as far as reproduction rations that you're probably ever going to see. All right, so here's the package. It is from Belarus. It's all in Russian, as you can see. Um, Belpus.by. So there you go. It's just a box. Let's uh, let's pop this bad boy open to show you the rations. So like I said, I'm super excited to show you these rations. We've got it popped open. A lot of bubble wrap. They packed this thing very good. I didn't think it was going to get here in time, but luckily it did in time for the event. And uh, we have one ration here. And then we have a, another ration here. And then we have, let's see, another ration here. And don't, don't look at the war room in the background. It's an absolute mess. And then we have two more rations, it looks like, here. And a ton of bubble wrap. Let's get all this situated and we'll show you the rations. All right, so we got the rations out. Like I said, don't mind the war room. It's a complete disaster right now. Nothing is set up. Everything's being packed up for the event and gone through. But uh, we have several rations here. Um, you can see this Christmas ration on the top there, some um, other rations there, and a box. So let's go ahead and get into this real quick. Okay, so um, I'm not going to need this paper uh, for the event. Obviously, this will come off. But this is the Field Ration CB unit. This is an American ration. Contains biscuits, sugar, hard candy, coffee. And I love the, uh, the little comment strip they put on here. But we're not going to need this paper for the event. So I'm okay with actually taking this paper off to show you the actual ration. Because I'm going to do that anyway to pack it for the event. But I just love this paper. Check this out. Probably going to save this. Matter of fact, I know I am. But uh, here you go. Here is the U.S. Army Field Ration C Biscuit Confection Beverage. And uh, check it out. Dude, they've even stamped this thing. Pure correct. It's key open. And that is cool. Now, of course, I'm not opening it in this video because I want to save it to use at the event. And once you open this, it's really open. But uh, in the correct can, correct color, correct markings... I mean, correct stamps. This is absolutely just freaking insane. I mean, if I didn't know better myself, I would think this was an original. So pretty cool. Um, next up, we have a very cool ration. We're going to slide all this to the side and examine this one. Okay, now that we have everything else to the side, we can look at this one. Don't mind the fingers, there's pain everywhere. But uh, this is a German Christmas ration is what they kind of label this as. The bag is very neat. Christmas themed ration comes right after Christmas. So, hey, I, I almost got it in time. But the contents of this thing is absolutely amazing. Check this out. Okay. That's all this in it. And let's take a look at this stuff. First off the bat is Deli um, Drops. These are basically kind of like lifesaver candies. But take a look at this thing. They have the package on this spot on from top to bottom and wow that is very neat so some lifesaver style drops a uh, bar of chocolate very very correct packaging and there's the back there next up we have some uh tea Deutscher tea so just some tea inside of there then we have a nice Christmas time felt post postcard. Very neat. 
Then we have some tomato soup, Maggie's tomato soup. And I can't wait to try this out, actually. Um, we have another uh, chocolate bar. Or chocolate bar. Um, we have some sugar. And then to go along with our sugar, we have some Ersatz coffee, or this is the Gardner coffee. And this is actually real coffee, okay? They had a coffee substitute during World War II for the Germans that was actually not coffee. Tasted like coffee, sort of, but it wasn't actually coffee. It just gave the guys a feeling like they were drinking coffee. Look at the packaging on this. This is absolutely spot on. I can't wait to actually try this because this is the actual stuff that they used to drink. This is the um, coffee that is not actually coffee. And I've never had it, so I I'm really interested to try this out. And next up in our Christmas ration, we have a Hindenburg candle, which this comes packaged in a nice period brown sack. And then inside have some brown parchment paper is a Hindenburg candle. So we'll definitely be using this at the event because we are be going to be in the foxhole. So uh, can't wait to actually use this thing for what it was intended to be used for. So yeah, real elements for a uh, pretty realistic event. Let's uh, let's go to the next ration. All right, next we have kind of sort of a German emergency ration. And on the front, this says just for frontline infantry troops only, basically, is what that translates to, um, something like that. But they actually sent us two of these. Um, one, the box kind of got damaged in shipping on the way here, but not bad. Um, and then this one is perfectly fine. And uh, just for um, the sake of the event we're going to, and I want to use these, let's, uh, let's open up the one that was damaged, shall we? And it opens from the front just like this. And on the inside, you've got a lot of goodies. You've got some more German chocolate. Chocolate Henner. 50 grams looks like of uh, Wehrmacht chocolate. We've got a uh, pretty neat fruit bar. Um, this is the size they're supposed to be. Wow, this packaging is just spot on, dude. That is very cool. And then we have some more deli drops. Basically, like I said before, it's almost like lifesavers. But the packaging is just absolutely spot freaking on. We have some uh, Jupiter matches. Look at these matches. <laughs> They're actually the period matches, man. That is that is so cool to see. So, uh, yeah. Pretty cool matches. Uh, Stamp Berlin on the back. And that is very high quality. Wow, that's cool. Um, next up, we have, um, I think this is some kind of soup. It looks like we have a little wet station going on there. Maybe oils from the soup, but that's okay. Not hurt. Uh, so some kind of soup in here. Then we have some, uh, feels like maybe some caramels. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not opening it up here, but uh, it's either chocolate or caramels. So there you go. Um, very cool ration. Let's put all this back so we don't mess it up. But um, wow, just uh, huh. I'm blown away. I am actually blown away. I have reviewed a lot of rations before, and a lot of them were pretty farby attempts at rations, but they work. Um, like Hogan's is one of my go-tos. You know, the packaging ain't spot on, but it works. But these things just are blowing every ration I've ever seen anybody reproduce out the water. I mean, that's just, you can't get better than that. Now, this is actually a pretty cool piece. And I want to try to, uh, well, preserve, well, I've got to take it out the box anyway, so I might as well do that now, I guess. Uh, I've got to take it out for the event to use and pack. But uh, these are... Very cool, ooh, Russian elements. I didn't know that was even in there. Wow, check this out. It is a soup spoon and it is actually whittled. Like this is no joke. This is not produced. Somebody actually handmade this. 
That is real wood. I mean, that is not plastic. That is real wood and is actually carved. Huh. That is an excellent surprise. Holy, holy molasses. I'm using that for sure. Uh, but what we have in this box is some powdered eggs, pure dried whole eggs. And the U.S. and Russia during World War II had a thing where rations were, they were kind of cooperating with each other, um, helping each other ration. And this is uh, five ounces net weight is equal to a dozen eggs. So, and this is actually egg powder in here. This is usable. And they have packaged it so the box doesn't leak. And this is this is going to be a treat. I've never had this, and I can't wait to use it. So, wow. Cool. And then you have a can basically of pork. Um, cooked pork, lard, onion powder, salt, and spices. And if you notice, it's in Russian. Like I said, they had an agreement, you know, helping each other with rations. So this can is Russian. And uh, again, the, the can and the labels are actually just unbelievably just spot on that is so neat so yeah there we go uh anything else in the box uh, nope just uh some straw but uh wow all right so there you have it and that is probably some of the most spot on reproduction rations i have ever seen and i would definitely 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 100 percent be ordering a ton of stuff more from vesme shook and uh try I, I can't wait to try this stuff out i mean this is probably my favorite thing in the whole unboxing honestly i know that sounds kind of dorky but i just love the smell of fresh carved wood and this is a wood man i can't wait to try this out but i mean who, who i've never seen anybody reproduce stuff like this so i mean these guys are doing a bang up job everything is spot on i can't find one flaw honestly not a single flaw i mean these look like the original deals. So, uh, good on those guys at Vesme Shook for doing this. If you're a reenactor, check them out. And yeah, we'll be ordering more for them. And we'll try these things out at the event. Too bad I couldn't do it here, but uh, if I, I pop these open, well, they won't be good for them. But we will try them out on a future video. And until then, keep preserving history, stay safe, and we will most certainly see you soon with some pigs. See you when I eat these eggs.